What's up guys? It's Mom and Dad Head and I am back with another reaction to The Walking Dead. So bear with me <laughs> because we canceled cable and canceled AMC Premiere and now I'm on AMC Plus with Amazon. So everything looks slightly different. Like I have it, I have the episode like synopsis pulled up right now, but it like doesn't have the name of the episode. I'm pretty sure it's called Diverged, but I think, so it's season 10, episode 21, and it says, <laughs> new episode, at the lowest point in their friendship, Daryl and Carol come to a fork in the road and head their separate ways. Carol returns to Alexandria while Daryl stays on the road, each going into their own type of survival mode. And then in the, this has like a starring section, so it says starring Norman Reedus, Melissa McBride, Cooper Andrews. So pretty much... <laughs> What I know about this episode is Daryl, Carol, and Jerry are in it. I'm hoping for some really cute Jerry moments. I have seen pictures of him gardening, and I love to garden, and I love Jerry, so love that. Um, but other than that, I again, I don't know anything. I don't, you know, check this out beforehand. I haven't seen the teasers or the opening minutes or anything like that. Uh, I think that I actually like... Uh, how I've done that for these bonus six. So I think that I might continue on the same way. And again, if I don't react to something, like if I'm not having an actual reaction to it, then it will likely not go in. If this episode is shorter, that's why. It's because I'm just, you know, like sitting and watching. Um, I mean, this, this is a reaction. So I want to give you guys like a real genuine reaction. And if it's literally like just a whole, if, bleh, if it's just... <laughs> whole episode of me sitting there watching it then I mean it's just like why um but yeah let's go just let's just go ahead and watch this episode what is that am I supposed to know what that is Jerry hey dude <laughs> hey dude <laughs> Rosita's already got a crew working on the guard post. Rosita. So sure you got cleaned up. Somebody loved it and they're just going to fix something. Why not? Yeah. Sure. That's Very. awkward. <laughs> Tell me a story. There was this hungry stranger that came to the village because he didn't have anything to trade for food except for a big rock. So he convinced all the villagers to this try his world famous stone soup. said the story <laughs> for the attitude. Odd, but I find it hard to believe that they've picked like all the wild garlic because like wild garlic around where I live it, which is like semi-adjacent that's like semi-adjacent to like where they live it's everywhere like literally everywhere I could go out right now and like bring back the armful like, that's how much wild garlic there is. I just wish he would find, like, Connie's hair or something, you know what I mean? Like, on a tree, like, like where she fell against a tree, maybe, like, a little bit of blood and, like, some of her hair or something. Like, just something. I <laughs> just want to see Connie. Just, side note, just shave your head. Wait, are these reapers... <sighs> oh my god, if you're still contemplating it, just go. Oh, I was about to just like bust out laughing if dog like brought the rat over and just like plopped it on her pillow. Ma'am, is this your house that you are carving a hole into? Ma'am, this 
This is a Wendy's. <laughs> oh, my sweet smiling face. Oh. There's a bad thing. Yesterday was pancakes compared to how you've been, to be fair. I was a long there's on question. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't need to say. Maybe I just need to put this in the work. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Friend, just Oh bye you're at. Hungry, I made some soup for everyone. Yeah, I'm alright. Define everyone. That's a small Instapot. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so painful. <laughs> uh alright guys, that episode is over. Um yeah, that was pretty brutal. Uh I can't lie. I get I get what they were going for, um, but it definitely missed the mark. I mean like I can't say that I'm I'm not gonna put it on the writers because I don't think it's the writers and I'm not I'm not gonna put it on um bad acting because I don't think it was bad acting. I just think that these are not characters that I'm attached to other than Jerry. Jerry was probably the best Jerry and the rat were probably the best part of this episode, um, along with Dog. Uh I mean like just for the simple fact that like he knew from the jump like stuff wasn't okay. He comes by to check on her after all that. Um, the reason why I say, like, it, it's not, like, bad writing is because, I, like, we can't say that this is the first time Carol's pretended to, like, everything, it, pretended to be fine, like, everything's fine, and, like, put on this, like, super fake persona. She's done this plenty of times on the show, so, I, I mean, like, it falls in line with her character. I just think it was, like, cringe, like, really painful to watch. Um, but I've thought that every time she's done it, so I, I don't want to make it seem like, oh, this is the worst episode ever solely for that reason. Um, do I think it's probably one of the worst? I gotta be honest and say yeah, but again, it's not a character... It was mainly focused on Carol and not a character that I like. Um, I don't know, man. That, that, one, was, that one really was brutal. Like, I will fall asleep to TV if I'm watching it alone, uh, if I was watching this alone, I wholeheartedly would have fell asleep during it. Like, it's the whole reason, and I know that, like, this might incite some, uh, controversy on its own, but, like, I can't get through the first episode of Game of Thrones. I fall asleep every single solitary time I watch that first episode. And I also fell asleep for, um, oh man, I'm gonna say it wrong. Um, the guy that plays Jax in Sons of Anarchy was in, like, a King Arthur movie or something like that. Uh, and it was, like, everyone said it was, like, this, like, awesome, great movie. And I can't get through it. I fall asleep every time. Um, yeah, I would have fell asleep during this. There's a handful of Walking Dead episodes that I probably would have fell asleep for. Unfortunately, this is one of them. You can't win them all. It, it's not, again, it's not, like, none of The Walking Dead is, like, the worst television that I've ever seen by far. Um, but yeah, I certainly won't be watching this one again. See, the the thing is, like, I get what they were going for, like, symbolism with the rat, symbolism with how she's acting, um, throwing these two into their own, like, little thing, like, mission to go for, uh, her being, like, soup and a peace of mind, and, like, even that being hard, and then, like, literally stabbing a hole into a wall to get to a rat, um, Rat could symbolize a lot of things. It could symbolize her state of mind. It could symbolize Alpha and, like, her stabbing into the wall is also has, like, a double meaning for me because she is also stabbing into somebody else's wall. <laughs> like, she's damaging somebody else's stuff, too. Um, and, I mean, at least she's fixing this and she's not fixing anything else. So, the only thing is, though, is, like, did I need an episode of that? No, <laughs> I really didn't need an episode of that. Like, I I know that I keep falling back on this, but it's like, they announced that these two have a spinoff. They had a little squabble. Big deal. They have a spinoff coming and a whole season. Like, they could have resolved it at some other point for like 10 minutes because we know these two have a spinoff together. Obviously, they're going to be friends again. And friends fight. Like... I literally did not understand, like, the severity of, like, the people that thought, like, their the world was crashing down around them when Daryl and Carol had an argument. I understand that 
it's difficult to see friends fight, but like friends fight. And if you ship them and you were freaking out because, oh my gosh, you're not going to happen now, married people fight. Like, it just, it, especially with the fact that they announced a spinoff. Like, I'm not worried about it. It's not concerning. Daryl being in a compromising position, I'm not worried about it because obviously he's not going to die. So, it, like, takes any, like, mystery out of it for me. And, I mean... Just because it's these two characters doesn't make it different. Like, if they announced a princess spinoff, then I wouldn't be worried for princess, <laughs> you know? Unless they announced that it was, like, pre, you know, coming into the show, pre-apocalypse, something like that, um, then I would be worried for her in season 11. Like, I'm still worried for her because they could still kill her because it's the season... The whole finale of the entire show, so they could really do anything in season 11. But, like, you announce a spinoff and, like, don't really give any context to it, then I'm not going to be worried for the character. It really sucks out a lot of everything. Um, yeah. Definitely the worst of the bonus six. Probably the worst of season 10. Um... But, again, you can't win them all. I literally just had one of my all-time favorite episodes last week, so I'm certainly not complaining. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And, like always, think positive thoughts and send positive vibes. Bye, guys. What's up, everybody? Always think positive thoughts and send positive vibes. It's from Mama Deadhead, y'all. And I always remember, I know what's happening. And I know what's going on. And please... Always nurture your inner spirit. Peace.